Hello, my name is Detective Rich Raphael with the Miami-Dade Police Department Homicide Bureau. On Sunday, August 28, 2016, at approximately 4.58 p.m., uniform units from the Miami-Dade Police Department Northside District was dispatched to the area of Northwest 101st Street and Northwest 25th Avenue regarding multiple people shot. Upon arrival, uniform officers discovered an eight-year-old female, later identified as Jada Page, suffering from a gunshot wound. A uniform officers also observed a male uh, within close proximity to the residence, also suffering from gunshot wounds. Both victims were transported to the Jackson Memorial Hospital Rider Trauma Center and were listed in critical condition. The victim, Jada Page, remained in the hospital for approximately two days, and on Tuesday, August 30th, she succumbed to her injuries and was pronounced deceased. During the course of the investigation, my team and I, we continue to work in this case, and we hope that in time that someone would have that one additional piece of information that would aid us in a successful prosecution in this case. One of the good things about homicide cases is that there is no statute of limitation. So if you have information, it doesn't matter when you make that call, whether it's back then or now, we still need that information and furtherance of helping us close this case. As a parent, when we get cases like this, it hits, it hits home. And I could only imagine the pain that our parents have been feeling these last five years. Jada was outside playing. No one knew that this was going to be her last day. The family didn't know it. We certainly didn't know it. And as a parent, like I said, um, it hits close to home because kids should be able to go outside and play without having to worry about running away from gunshots or they should not have to worry about being in any hurt, harm or danger. And, and that is why that we are asking you to continue calling in, giving us information and assisting us so that the person responsible for this could be arrested. You know, when incidents like this happen, it affects the entire community. It affects us as the first responders. It affects the family. It affects, you know, the schools that these kids attend to. It affects everyone. And that is the reason why we as a community need to come together in furtherance of stopping this senseless gun violence that's happening in our community. It's time that we come up, we say something. If you see something, say something in furtherance of getting these guys off the streets so that way our kids could come out and be able to play in the community without being in fear. One of the things about being a member of this department, being a member of this Homicide Bureau, is that we have unlimited resources. And the person that did this know who they are and know what they did. Keep looking over your shoulder because I am going to bring closure to this family. I am going to bring closure to this family.